Greetings, dear friends! Today, I invite you to hit the road directed to the modern and dynamic city of Minsk. Let's set out for the capital not only in space, but also in time. Ready, steady, go! And now I'm standing on the steps of the Temple of Music, which was founded back in 1937. Alas, our memory associates this year with completely different events. But that is the great wisdom of life, that art, like love, does not choose good and bad times. Like bright light, it illuminates life with hope and looks far ahead. 87 years, is it a lot or little? For a person, it's a whole life. For history, it is a thick textbook, stuffed with eventful experiences, sometimes joyful, sometimes mournful. The Belarusian State Philharmonic Society started with uncomfortable club premises, but with wonderful philharmonic groups of the symphony orchestra, the orchestra of Belarusian folk instruments, the Belarusian folk song and dance ensemble, and the Belarusian choir. But the great patriotic war posed new tasks, the creation of a concert brigade for the Red Army. And here starts the story of gradual ascent to fame and glory. The first post-war season opens on the 21st of September 1946. Much had to be done in you. To collect the Philharmonic Library lost during the occupation and to recreate the Dulcimer Orchestra. 1963 is another milestone in the history of the Philharmonic. The grand opening of the concert hall in the area of Yakubkova Square. A little later, the first organ concert was staged, which opened a new page in the history of organ performance in Belarus. The debut of the Minsk Chamber Orchestra, the appearance of the antique music ensemble Cantabile, folklore and choreographic ensembles Horoshki and Kupalinka adorned the cultural environment of the Republic. The so-called newest history of the Belarusian Philharmonic is marked by its major reconstruction in 2004. Now its interior meets the most modern standards and technologies. This stage remembers distinguished names whose performance was not just good, it was inspired, sublime and at the same time academic in the best sense of the word. Do you know the names of Igor Luchinok and Vladimir Mulyavin? They are no longer with us, but the Philharmonic stage is still paying homage to them. So let it tell us too. Vladimir Mulyavin was born on the 12th of January 1941 in Sridlovsk in the family of a plant worker. In his childhood he took a great interest in music. He could play the guitar at the age of 12. After leaving basic school in 1956, he entered Sredlovsk Musical College. In 1963, he was invited to the Belarusian State Philharmonic Society, where the Benlevone was created under his directory. In 1970, the group was renamed into Bisnyari. In fact, in the 1970s, they were the only group allowed to go abroad. At Cannes Festival, the luck turned to Bisnyari. They got invitation to embark for 23 countries on a tour. The pioneers of folk rock and they remained on top for a long time as one of the most popular groups of the country, recorded a great number of folk songs versions which are still relevant. Mulavin and his group were the first to tour the USA and to make even a record at Columbia Studio. Admiring his great versatility and gift, Paul McCartney said, I wish I had such a voice. On the 21st of January 2001, the story in honor of Vladimir Mulavin and Vishnyari was laid in the Sar Lane in Moscow in order to immortalize their creative development and worldwide success. Igor Mikhailovich Luchinok was born on the 6th of August 1938 in the town of Marina Gorka of Minsk region. 
He graduated from the Belarusian State Music Conservatory in 1961. Since 1980, he was the president of the Belarusian Union of Composers. He worked in different genres – vocal and symphonic, chamber and instrumental. But the most fruitful one is that of song. The sphere of his main images is lyric and romantic. His music is remarkable for vivid melody and national originality. His works shaped repertoires of many celebrities, such as Iosif Kobzon, Lev Leshenko, Sofia Rotaru. Only the list of his titles and awards might take a page. But the most important thing for the composer is that his songs, more than 400, are known far beyond the limits of his native Belarus. Igor Luchinok was the first Belarusian to have a nominal star in the Stalin in front of the Concert Hall Russia in Moscow. He handed his name down in the history of our city. The chimes on the town hall tower strike the melody of his song about Minsk every hour. You have just got your foot in the door. Historical and cultural heritage of Belarus in Minsk could tell you a great deal. The Belarusian State Philharmonic Society has raised its voice for eternal recognition. The list of heritage is endless, to be continued.